The new paradigm of short-range wireless communication devices, WiiWi. WiiWi is a two-way wireless communications device that uses the 2.4 GHz band and a license-free public frequency. Several slave devices are connected to one master device to form a group, so that up to six people can talk at the same time and everyone can talk in sequence. This is the name and function of each position of WiiWi. It is composed of a power button, USB port, antenna, talk button, and a menu button according to each position. The SH350GM is a new model WiiWi that has been completed through three years of continuous development. It is based on the frequencies of 2.4 GHz and 900 MHz. This obtained good design certification through its ergonomic design. Depending on the model, the SH350GM is equipped with built-in speakers and a microphone to minimize the inconvenience of wired earpieces. It is designed to be compatible with Bluetooth 4.0 version earpieces. Also, it obtained the IP54 rating, maximizing convenience for customers as they can use it outdoors when it's raining. Here are the various uses of WiiWi. WiiWi is applied in various sports fields such as horse riding, soccer, handball, hockey, and skiing. WiiWi is also used in services such as conferences, simultaneous interpretation, business meetings, and CS. WiiWi is applied to military training, such as communications in helicopters, shooting training, guardhouse work, and control rooms in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. WiiWi can also be used for guided tours, factory tours, fast food, and events and broadcast. This is the user manual for the WiiWi SH350GM. This is how to turn on the master unit. Hold down the volume up button and press the power button for about two seconds. Master mode is executed with the sound of master on. This is how to turn off the master unit. Press the power button for about two seconds. This is how to turn on the slave unit. Press the power button only for about two seconds. Slave mode is executed with the sound of slave on. This is how to turn off the slave unit. Press the power button for about two seconds. This is how to adjust the volume. Adjust the volume with the volume arrow button on the right to the desired volume. The volume can be adjusted in levels from 0 to 6. This is how to change channels. Press the menu button once, then use the volume button to move to the desired channel and press the menu button once again. When the LCD window briefly flashes off and on, it is set to the selected channel. With the channel memory function, even when the device is turned off and on again, the default is the newly selected channel. This is how to use the talk function of the master and slave. When you need to communicate, press the talk button on the front and release. This is how to disconnect the talk function of the master and slave. After the communication is finished, press the talk button on the front once again and release to disconnect. In noisy surroundings, the master can control the slave's talk function. When holding down the talk button of the master unit for about three seconds, the talk function of all of the slaves is released. The master can temporarily lock slash unlock the talk function. Press the volume down button on the master unit for about three seconds to temporarily lock the talk function for all slaves. 
This enables the prevention of accidents caused by malfunctions from slave unit users who are not familiar with the operation method. To disable the lock function of master, press and hold the volume down button for about 3 seconds to reactivate the talk function. LED and LCD display the charge status and remaining battery level. When the LED on the top of the product is green, it indicates the charge is completed, and when it is red, it indicates that it is charging. The LCD displays the remaining battery, and the battery low alarm sound is activated when there is about 30 minutes of battery remaining. This is how to use the built-in speaker and microphone, a special function of SH350G. With the earpiece off, press the volume down button on the master unit to change to the built-in speaker mode. After the talk function lock is released, press the talk button on the front to start communication. In built-in speaker mode, only one-to-one, -one, one-way communication is possible. This is how to enable Bluetooth pairing, a special function of the SH350M. To set the Bluetooth mode, press the volume up button and the talk button simultaneously for about two seconds. When the WiiWi has completed pairing with the ear set, it switches to Bluetooth mode as follows. To turn off the Bluetooth mode, press the volume up button and the talk button simultaneously for about two seconds once again.